And you say, hey everybody, welcome. It's the Isaac Casino, just working some cantaloupe through the bloodstream. But in the meantime, let's see what we're gonna have today. TRPG randomizer open, randomize. Tainted Apollyon Boss Rush Delirium. That's an interesting one. Tainted Apollyon Boss Rush Delirium. Tainted Apollyon is very uh, fun. Boss Rush and Delirium are a little spooky. How about that? Will NL uh, accomplish, accomplish his objectives? Here's uh, uh, one minute on the clock. I'm going to hydrate. Beautiful. Someone said, can we get some inside information? How are you feeling today? Honestly, pre-cantaloupe, I, I would describe it as like a 5 out of 10. And I'll, I'll tell you why once we get into the banter run today. Post-cantaloupe, I'm like, I'm, I think I'm at like a 7.25. Morale is high. Physically suffering, but morale is high. Okay. Boss Rush Delirium. Here we go. This is very close to a 50-50 right now. So the here's what happened last night, right? I went to bed at like 11. I woke up... Uh, I don't want to blow up Kate's spot here. I woke up at uh, around 12.45 to Kate sniffing every object in like my line of sight. She was sniffing her pillow. She was sniffing the sheets. She then like got out of bed. Um, walked over to my side of the bed, like, smelled, uh, my, my shorts that were, like, on the ground next to the bed. And I, I said, what the heck are you doing? And she said, I smell cat poop. So then, uh, you know, I was kind of like, ah, I don't know. Like, I'll, I'll admit, I was a little bit dismissive, right? I was like, I don't, I don't think you actually smell cat poop. I think, you know, maybe we just, we have cats. Maybe they use the litter box or something like that. But she stayed on the, on the, uh, on the case. And she found out one of the cats must have, probably Ruka, had poop on his butt that he didn't lick off properly or whatever cats do. I, I don't even want to know. Um, and he had rubbed just a little, just enough to be like, there <laughs> he had rubbed a little bit like on the bed like on the sheets and also on the bedroom floor we'll just take this right here um so then we had to like tide pod uh or not tide pod but like tide pen the sheets because it was so late we're like ah, i don't want to like wash them right now and have to not go to sleep for like the next two hours until they dry or have to change the sheets which means we need to go into the linen closet the linen closet is right next to where the baby sleeps like she might wake up so we we did a good job of i mean it was just a little splotch but it's still like pretty gross but then after that we, we still want to make boss rush you know what i think we still will make boss rush I don't think we care about the Eddie room, though. I think we're just moving on. Um, linen. The linen closet. The linen closet. Not the linen closet. Anyway. Um, then, like, you know, my, my sleep had already been disrupted. It's really hard to, like, go back to sleep when you wake up when you're in, like, stage two of your first cycle, I think. Like, this is the hardest time for me to get back to sleep. Then... Um, I was trying to go back to sleep, and he just kept kicking, or he kept jumping onto the bed, and I was like, get out of here, we got like all white sheets on right now. And you're getting your, your cat feces, maybe, I don't know if you cleaned up yet, like you're getting your cat feces like all over the Egyptian cotton, and he like is laying down like between my ankles, uh, like just in the perfect way so that like my feet can't touch and I'm like I got my feet need to touch to fall asleep I was just he's being very annoying so that, that went on for like hours <laughs> and then I uh, eventually got to sleep and woke up feeling just a little bit tired but apart from that I'm, I'm feeling pretty good that's that's about it no my feet don't really need to touch but sometimes you know you like you're in bed and you like any distraction is annoying, so like when the cat's laying down and it feels like I got like a weight on my ankles, I'm like, ah, I can't fall asleep because I'm so distracted by how mad I am right now, you know? 
Otherwise, I, w I was also like so prepared to sleep well too. I was like, oh man. What's the moral of the story? I honestly think the moral of the story is just like if you have cats, like they're gonna, you know, annoy you sometimes. <laughs> it's about it. I mean, there's no like, you know, before bed every night, make sure you have your, you've examined your cat's anuses so they're not covered in fecal matter. Like, I think you just, you know. And, and believe your wife, that's true. But also, like, you're not of sound mind when, you, when you're jolted out of sleep after, like, 45 minutes of it. Like, you're, you're skeptical. Your first thought is not like, oh, this is for a good cause. Your, your first thought is like, you know, unless the house is on fire, don't wake me up. Don't worry about boss rush. We're, we're, we're making it in plenty of time right here. Okay, give me one of those. You're one of those Isaac players, if you, we're at like 4 minutes, 19 seconds, if you're worried about like missing boss rush because of this right now, you're like the kind of person that's like bombing their way through rooms immediately and then just, you know, dying on the third floor because you got nothing. I uh, literally did not mean to hit Q there, but I did hit Q. <laughs> we'll take these. I'm happy with it, don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm stoked to have more flies, but HP wouldn't have hurt either. Um, let's take a pill. I took a pill in Ibiza. I don't think we're gonna miss Boss Rush. I mean, this is this is looking mighty nice right now. Also, like when I don't sleep well, I get so many. I, I'm sure this is common. My eyelashes are falling out like it's they're autumnal leaves. I get, I get an eyelash in my eye like three times a day if I get less than five hours of sleep. Me too. I'm sure everybody has like slightly different insomnia symptoms. For me, I become a, a gastrointestinal wreck. Um, very common one, modest headache, but not too bad. Dry eyes and my eyelashes fall out a little bit. That's about it. Put a warm washcloth on your eye. Tell me you're a doubter without telling me you're a doubter. <laughs> That's probably good advice, but not right now. But I have a theory, and I don't, again, I don't know if this is uh, scientifically accurate. Most people would probably tell you that it's not. Um, however, just hear me out on this one, okay? I feel like if I had to wake up and I had the choice, but like I didn't sleep well, and I had the choice between either a McDonald's breakfast or a, a large cup of coffee, I feel like a McDonald's breakfast would wake me up more. Chance to shoot tooth tears. I, I think, and this is not scientifically valid, but I think that they caffeinate the breakfast at McDonald's. Like, in the English muffin or something like that, I think they sprinkle a little bit of extra caffeine in there. Why is your stream all McDonald's ads? Bro, it's... Look. The Geo thing was not sponsored. If anything, we roasted some of those. I feel like coffee doesn't have an affect on me, but I drink it out of habit. I, I'm in, like, very similar of a boat. Um, but I, I'm just being honest with you. I think that's, um... I think that's just, uh, dependence. <laughs> I think when... If drinking it doesn't affect you, but not drinking it uh, can, like, ruin your day, I think that is, like, when you've got a, a chemical dependency. I got it too. I'm not trying to be like, you know, I'm super straight edge or whatever. I'm just, uh, I'm just calling it like I see it. You ever see like an episode of Intervention? Like that's how people start to talk when they've been taking heroin for so long. You know, they, they get sick and then they take their supply and then they just like, you know, watch TV or something like that. That's, that's me with coffee, babe. Not to make light of a sensitive issue, but... You know, I, I'm like, I, I relate 
in a in a much more pedestrian way when I watch a show like Intervention. New guy just dropped. A guy who uh, every time something happens on Intervention, he says, "That's me if I don't get my coffee." That could be a fun character. Plus four! Way! It's the first thing I saw. Plus four. <laughs> wow, would you look at that? Plus four. Wow. Why wouldn't you suck up? Uh, wait, 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 hold on. You're absolutely right. What did I. N what was I holding a second ago? Wait, nothing. Okay, no, I'm happy to have the TNT. Sorry, I, I, I got lost in the intervention sauce. I'm happy to have the TNT for free bombs. I, I think that's worth more than a single fly, but. New guy? Sounds like me if I don't get my coffee. Wow, Loki, why don't you put your daggers away? Go get me a cup of coffee. Make yourself useful. Okay, well, now we'll suck it up. Look at this. Remember the song Dynamite by Tayo Cruz? Whatever happened to that guy? We gonna light it up? We gonna go all night? We're gonna light, set it off like it's dynamite. That song was everywhere in 2010, man. It was that California Girls by by Katy Perry. Um, TikTok and Your Love Is My Drug by Kesha. And you know, I'll admit, like quite a lot of Lady Gaga. That was um, maybe when they started scraping the bottom of the barrel of that first big album. Let's have some fun. This beat is sick. I want to take a ride on your disco stick. Meanwhile, I'm trying to, you know, talk to people at my university uh, happy hour. Hey, did you hear the new Titus Andronicus album, A More Perfect Union? Uh, who invited the nerd? Okay, we don't need um, keys. As, look, let me tell you, here's the deal, okay? Skeleton key is not worth 99 keys, okay? On an average run, you're probably gonna spend like 20 keys. So already, it's already not 99, the 99 is a lie. It's, it's about 20 keys. We could easily get to 20 keys ourselves. But just one fly? Yeah, but uh, does it change things if you know it scales with our damage? Okay, you're literally right. It's worth 99 keys, but 99 keys is not worth as much as... Like, 99 keys and 20 keys are worth approximately the same. I'll think about that. Build rage. After four rooms, you get brimstone. I sleep. Key beggars are sick. That's extreme doubter parlance for sure. That's that's extreme doubter parlance. I don't think a key beggar has ever paid out with anything. <clears throat> yeah, key beggars are sick. I'm sick of them. Sick and tired of seeing them because they don't pay out with anything. Anyway, that's me if I don't get my coffee. Minus two, minus two, minus two. Dude, I've experienced very little media recently. Um, but I gotta tell you, I, I, like I said in the um, Naraka Blade Point segment, you remember that old chestnut? Um, I... Uh, I watched Scary Movie last night for the first time since I was a young boy. Doubters. <laughs> oh, baby. I, I think it's impossible to tease apart whether or not, like, a movie that you loved as a child is actually good. But I kind of think Scary Movie 1 is still a little funny. It is hilarious to me that there's a Matrix parody in it, but apart from that, I'm like, dude, I think it's... I, I wouldn't describe it as an 8 out of 10. I think it might be a 6.
There's a lot of CG in that movie. Yeah, like when when Bobby ejaculates for the first time, they actually like uh, digitally remove all the moisture from his body, so he looks like a desiccated skeleton. How much regrettable stuff is in that movie? Uh, there's like a lot, um, for sure. Is is <laughs> that part is in CG? Oh, you got me. Plus two. Uh, that's the rare streamer to chat. Plus two. Um, there's. I mean, yeah. It's it's an offensive film. No question about it. That being said, it's kind of humorous. And in some ways, I think it reveals some important things about society. I don't know. I just thought if I threw that there, then you couldn't cancel me for saying I thought it was kind of funny. Um, I, I saw Scary Movie 3 in theaters. But by the time I saw Scary Movie 3 in theaters, um, I, was all, I already took myself too seriously to be able to laugh at the movie. So I don't know if it's good. Uh, but I hated watching it in theaters, I'll tell you that much. My, my parents got so into scary movie, like... It's, it's frightening. I think, I, I saw a scary movie one, and then I like went back to my parents, I was like 12 or 13, and I, I was like... You know, like, oh, this movie's so good, you gotta see it, and then we rented the DVD. Um... And then they laughed so hard they bought the DVD. And then we bought the DVD for Scary Movie 2, Sight on Scene, which is very bold. Then they took me to see Scary Movie 3 in theaters. And at that point, I think I was like, I'm out here. Like, I'm, I'm done with this. And then I, I, I have a distinct memory of maybe watching Scary Movie... Like, they kind of prodded me when I lived with them uh, in a summer between... Uh, like maybe first and second year of university they were like uh, hey you gotta see scary movie 5 and I was just like oh, come on I think if I remember correctly we might have seen uh, we might have rented scary movie 5 and the happening on like the same weekend like the same trip to jumbo video which is just like possibly the, the the lowest yield movie rental store trip you could ever have in your entire life. But I loved The Happening. Even when I saw it for the first time, I was like, this is the funniest movie that I've ever seen. How to, how to learn how to hate movies in two days. <laughs> Yeah, you got a problem with Jumbo Video? Just because they don't have any in Farmington. Farmington Hills. Jumbo Video was sick, man. They had they had some free popcorn sometimes. Sometimes they just didn't refill it. But sometimes they had free popcorn. My dad... <laughs> to see Scary Movie 1 in theaters when I was 13. I remember when the dude got the penis through the ear and the sheer look of shame and disappointment on his face. There is, there is indeed a scene where Sean Wayans gets, uh, at a glory hole, a penis pierces through one ear and out the other. I'm trying to think if I had any regrettable like movie theater experiences like that. I don't think I did, though. I don't know if my parents like did their research before we went in or if uh, if they just got lucky but And then later he just uh he shows up again and he's just got a bandage on his one ear. It's so good. I saw 40-year-old virgin at the theater with my mom. It was a little awkward. That movie's kind of like there's some oddly wholesome moments in it. I lo look at all the doubters. Well, it sure be nice to have some keys right now. What are you talking? I, I pressed two buttons. Every enemy's dead, man. Um, I was thinking about 40-year-old virgin the other day, though, because I actually realized that, like, the older I get, the more... Um, 
It doesn't matter which way we go. We pretty much gotta fight Hush on this one, huh? That's crazy. Nah, it's okay. Um, give me one of these then. Uh, but the uh, the older I get, the more I realize that when Andy, I think his name's Andy, right? When he describes his uh, his weekend at the start of the movie, where you're supposed to feel like he's a huge loser. The older I get, the more that weekend sounds like a dream come true. Where he talks about like all the, he went through all these steps to make like an amazing egg salad sandwich, but then at the end he, by the time he made it, he wasn't hungry anymore and he didn't have any bread. I'm like, dude, that sounds, except for the part where he doesn't get to eat the sandwich at the end, I'm like, that sounds like kind of an ideal weekend right now. I believe that in the movie, the characters uh, describe him as uh, a serial killer after he says that. Which I'm like, I come on, man. Everybody loves a good sandwich. Nothing wrong with that. In my opinion, at least. Yeah, that's true. Plus, a serial killer would probably never be that disorganized either. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. That's my defense. You really think I could have killed all those people? I, didn't, I don't even know what I have for breakfast. I didn't even take skeleton key. I'm woefully unequipped for that kind of grandiose operation. Can't believe Kevin Hart and Jonah Hill are in that movie. It's true. Kevin Hart tries to start a, a fight with one of the 40-year-old virgin's friends, uh, I think because he couldn't get a deal on something. Uh, and Jonah Hill goes to Catherine Keener's Will eBay It For You store and tries to buy something, um, but doesn't realize that the store uh, doesn't actually sell things. It just holds them while she eBays them for you. One of the most uh, pivotal Jonah Hill roles in his career. I think it's like Moneyball, that, and then maybe like The Wolf of Wall Street. What an ageless bit. Yeah, that, that eBay bit still slaps. It's still <laughs> really relevant. <laughs> A store where they eBay things for you. Wow. He owns in Moneyball? Yo, Borlax owns in this movie, dude. I love when he goes... I watched Superbad once, and I feel like it's become a relic of its time. Really? That, I mean, that might be one of those movies that, like... You know, my daughter, you know, she she's like 15 or something like that. And I'm like, oh, you got to see Superbad. I saw it in theaters in 2007. We were we laughed so hard, we threw up in the aisles. And she'll watch it and be like, uh, Dad, this movie has some very troubling beliefs in it. And I'll be like, yeah, but it's also got Michael Sarah going, you know, these eyes aren't smiling. These eyes have seen a lot of lows, and they're never gonna see another one like that with you. Do, 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 do. Do, oh man. That's a movie, man. That's a movie. Did you just trash Explosivo? Yo, Explosivo blows, dude. I'm sick of this fool. Why not? Explosivo's trash, man. Pog Trinket? Seems like it could be fun. Okay, we still have to do Delirium, too. Have you seen Year One? Yeah, so I saw Year One. Um, my parents, no joke, my parents rented it on video. Um, my dad, he, he loves a spoof movie, man. I don't know if it's like... If you were a teenager in like the late 70s or the early 80s, like the height of film is, is uh, just parody, but... Um, I did, uh, 
I, I saw it when my dad rented it. Uh, I, I watched it and I hated it. And then I watched it again less than a month ago. Because Malf said, year one is kind of funny. And then I saw that it was on Netflix and I watched it. And I said, you know what? I think it's... Uh, I think I was too harsh on it when it originally came out. I do think it's still not very good. Um, but it's not maybe as bad as I thought it was. It also has an unbelievably star-studded cast. Hearing about this has made me think of all those awful... Oh, the, the Hunger Games parody? Yeah, I don't know what it is, but like Netflix is constantly... Um, and I don't think it's just me, although it might be weighted for me because I always watch pure garbage on Netflix and as a result get recommended pure garbage, I'm sure. But um, it's always trying to get me to watch these movies that are called like, you know, How I Got Knocked Up Learning How to Forget Sarah Marshall. And then there's another one that's like the hungover games and stuff like that. And it just like, it, it just never ends. And I'm like, I don't want to see these. Like, I will, I will watch a bad parody movie, don't get me wrong. But when the biggest star in the movie is like a dude who did one season of Mad TV, I'm just... I, I can't. I just... I, I respect myself too much. Hold on. Hey. I thought we were getting porch pirated there. It was just an a Uber Eats driver. Scared the crap out of me. <laughs> I looked outside and there was a guy, he had like a, a vinyl bag open and he was like looking through it and I was getting ready to go. I was getting ready to bang on the window. Be like, get the hell out of here. And then I, I saw he was just an Uber Eats driver. Oh man, that'll get your blood pumping. Oh. <laughs> oh. Get, get back here, you're not an intellectual. Oh, man. Hold on, we gotta go back and suck that up. It's, it's, good. it's the Goosey Gustav. What's your favorite spoof flick? It's a good question. I mean, Airplane is like a classic. That's, that's, uh... That's kind of the goat. Oh, you know what? You're absolutely right. For me, is Naked Gun 1 is really good, but Spinal Tap... I don't know. I guess you would call it... A, it's just a mockumentary. Is a mockumentary a spoof? Like, I, uh... Spinal Tap is, is one of my favorite movies of all time. For sure. It's really good. And not even for me to poop on. Uh, I have not seen Movie 43, but I do know it's considered one of the worst movies ever made. And I believe that uh, Hugh Jackman plays a guy with prosthetic testicles on his chin. Like, is that, that's part of it? Maybe a big part of it? This, I, I've noticed people aren't complaining so much about the keys anymore. What a strange coincidence. I wonder why. Well, I know it's because of the golden key, okay? But, like, on top of that, like, maybe it's because we're winning so easily. Maybe it's because all I do is win, 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 no matter what. Hey, it, honestly, if you're going to have a negative uh, uh, opinion about horror movies, you're going to get some pushback from me, okay? You know the bias? I think there's two biases, right? There's like everything, and, and everybody has both of these biases in different ways, I think. Um, but I feel like there's the bias of nothing is ever as good as it was when I was a kid. Which is like, ah, oh, you, know, you know, your parents ever say some ridiculous stuff to you? Hey, yeah, you know, Rushmore was pretty funny, but nothing can hold a candle to Steve Martin's The Jerk or something. Like, I think... One of those things where, like, you just kind of had to be there in order to find it humorous. And if you watch it later, you're like, you know, it's like duck soup. You're like, there's not a single laugh in the whole movie. Oh, thank you. Oh, no. Is 
The cat, the cat do be making some stinky poops. Um, and so the one bias is nothing will ever be as good as it was when I was a child. The other bias, in my opinion, is uh, nothing will ever be as bad as it was when I was a child. Oh, you had to walk uphill to school both ways. Nowadays, they, you know, you only got to walk uphill one way, right? Um, I think, though, that in actuality... Horror movies in the last, like, ten years have been better uh, than they were when I was a teenager. Like, when I was a teenager, the idea that all horror movies were just, like, cheap jump scares, I definitely agreed with that. A um, lot, of, lot of garbage, also kind of an era of uh, remakes that, have, that had no reason to be remade except to make money. Nowadays, I feel like we're kind of in an era of... Uh, you know, some premier horror movies. Why? I just walked right into that one. Like, mid-2000s horror is like The Ring and then just The Grudge and Saw. I, I sleep. Nowadays, we got all the A24 stuff. Did you see the Mandela Effect post where they said the sun has changed since I was a child? Oh, no. <laughs> I think we want to take this. I'm a little scared, but we're going to give it a try anyway. It used to be square. Oh, come on. Yeah, you shouldn't be looking at the sun to begin with, I'm pretty sure. Oh, no, we got a key. <laughs> oh, no, we got the stapler. Two temperances? What's your favorite horror movie from the past three years? Uh... Frick. Chad already knows. It's definitely, uh, Midsommar. Hereditary... I don't know, I think it might be... Maybe it's within the past three years. I don't know if I prefer, um, Midsommar to Hereditary, but it definitely, like, has stuck with me more. Although Hereditary is also great, and I think about it now and then. I think about Midsummer like, more often than, like, 99% of movies I've ever seen. But when I think about Hereditary, I largely think of the scene with, uh, that is not from the movie, but it uses the score, where Hannibal Burris is looking at his hands, and it's playing the song from the end of her, like, the second last song on the official soundtrack. It's, anyway, it's, uh, I think about that at least once a week. Yoink. I also, like, I, I, I really don't want to spoil Hereditary, but, like, in order to make this joke, I will. I really, like, I relate to the dad in Hereditary. Because he's not really, like, in the movie that much. But all he wants is for, like, everybody to be happy. And then his reward is that that motherfucker bursts into flames. Like, for nothing that was his fault at all. Like, the dude's just trying to, like, you know, get a little work done, get a relaxation done. You know, keep his family together. Everyone else is causing all this damn drama, and he just spontaneously combusts. Pretty fucked up, right? The way, <laughs> I don't know, I was gonna say the way society <laughs> treats men, but that's not really what I mean. It's just, it's just funny, really. <laughs> like, the dude is literally just there. And as his reward, hey, thanks for knocking out the mortgage payments, Dad. I really appreciate it. Wow, nice car. Oh, hey, thanks for being such a great husband. Oh, he burst into flames like two seconds later. They already forgot he ever existed in the first place. They're all just hanging out. Sorry, Dad. Oh, uh, sorry to the pile of ashes that used to be my father. I'm going to go hang out in my treehouse now. I really, like, he's the real victim of that movie, man.
Let me go. Let me go. Rip to the pile of ashes, but I'm just built different. You see that dodge? You see that dodge? So, we do have to do Delirium. I think we should win easily. That's my take. This one's for the believers. Now, it's, it's a little spicy. You never know how Delirium's gonna go. Can I also admit... I don't regret not taking Skeleton Key. But I do wish, and I know this is going to be a confusing statement. I do wish we got more keys on the run. Not 99, I couldn't possibly use that many. But if, if I just got like maybe like 20 or 30 more, I think it actually could make a market difference on this run. Just throwing that out there if possible. <laughs> I'm not saying I did the wrong thing, I'm simply saying it would be nice if, in spite of the fact that we didn't take Skeleton Key, it just gave us enough keys to open everything. But I also think that the fly that we got from, uh, from Skeleton Key is better than the average fly. Like, I think it's, it's doing a little bit more damage than the others. Fly 17. It would be it would be sick if you could see like a, a kill count after this. That will not be delirium. It's 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 inconceivable. The floor generation can get a little funky, but I, I was still pretty confident in that one. By the way, I do need to say, if you're watching this, this is like we do a little advertisement. Do a little advertisement in the middle of the uh, video here. Um, if you're watching Isaac, you may also enjoy Slay the Spire. Can I tell you that I'm... Uh, I think I'm not committing to anything long-term necessarily. But I have in the past few recording sessions, I've been issuing the dailies. Because they're more of like a score attack, like usually pretty easy type uh, run. Uh, to learn how to play the Watcher and, and start climbing that Ascension Ladder again. I mean, 20 is, uh, that's an ask. So that's just why I'm not even invoking its name yet. Um, but certainly love and learning the Watcher and, and trusting the developers that the character is well balanced. So maybe you watched earlier and you said, Ah, oh, Slay the Spire is cool, but I don't really like dailies that much. They're all kind of samey. No longer. No longer. The, the Watcher is so good they're actually busted. I've, I've been learning to like a lot of those Watcher archetypes. Pressure points. That's such a, a cool card if you got a thin deck. Um, signature move also works so well with the... With the pressure points, because pressure points do damage, but don't count as attacks, so you can get that signature move off so easily. Oh, man. Oh, man. I'm learning. Ooh, go for it. I think we're at the Wisp Cap. Thank God there's no Flies. Flies Cap. Flurry of Blows is cool. I mean, just the stances in general are a lot of fun. Oh, son of a... This is like the one chance Doubters had. Uh, Dry Baby? I can't possibly. I couldn't possibly. It's going okay. Succubus is, is mighty helpful. We're gonna get telefragged a lot. Just embrace it. The wisps the wisps are not gonna last forever. We're not doing quite as much damage as I thought. 
Maybe because we're going up against an enemy that has like an infinite amount of HP. Thoughts on hard seltzer? Can I tell you? I've I've still uh, to this day I've never had a hard seltzer. I would, but I, again, I'm not gonna go to. Uh, I'm not gonna go to the liquor store and buy like eight white claws. I, I need to be invited to somebody's barbecue. Like I, I was really hoping that maybe Obama would invite me to his uh, 60th birthday party, but I guess the invite must have gotten lost in the mail. Um, but I was really looking forward to having the opportunity to maybe like have my first white claw there. But nothing yet. I haven't had a white claw. I haven't had a neutral vodka soda. I haven't had a truly. There's. I haven't had like a, it's called like a Venny or something like that. I haven't had a, or a Zenny. I haven't had a Zenny. Isn't that the money from Final Fantasy? Or is that Gil? That's Gil. White claw is still the best. I don't know, at some point, at some point, I'm sure I will have the opportunity to try one. Just let me stay focused here. No more doubters, please. Keep your distance. You got... Tele telefrag, son of a... It was, it was going so well. Keep the fingers warmed up. If only I had some more keys, man. Hmm. Those don't explode. Copium. Succubus, you're doing great work. What the heck? Double boss? Don't rush me. If only I had paid attention for like another 20 seconds and not taken four damage. We could have we could have removed this whole situation. Why do I have so many flies, by the way, that don't appear to be doing anything? Oh jeez. <laughs> oh jeez. Oh, Angels? Ooh! Keep keeping the, the old brain canal moving. <laughs> oh man, a little spicy, huh? Oh, uh, you say? Whoa, 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 whoa! I'm just joking. <laughs> oh, oh man. Okay, good run, good run. Look at that. Easy win. Choose the outcome. Will NL accomplish his objectives? Not only is the answer yes as we pay it out. Slash marker. End of casino. You know what? 